So finally, after eight months of delay, Potensic has released the new Atom, a sub-249 drone with a full three-axis gimbal, so hopefully it was worth the wait. Now, this uses the same platform as the low-cost Atom SE drone that we reviewed before, and if you didn't see that video, I'll put that up here so you can go ahead and take a look at that. But it wouldn't be fair to say that the only upgrade is the gimbal, though, because Potensic packed this new model with a bunch of improvements, so let's just run through the upgrades before we take this out for a fly. So the SE had PicSync 2.0, which is a four kilometer range. This one has PicSync 3.0, which is a six kilometer or 3.7 mile range. The flight time has been upgraded from 31 to 32 minutes. The camera field of view was 118 degrees and now it is 78 degrees. The video had 4K 30, 2.7K 30 and 1080p 60. And they've upgraded it now to where the Atom has 4K 30, 25, 24, and the 1080p has 60, 50, 30, 25, and 24 frames per second. The video bit rate has also been upgraded from 40 megabits per second to 50. All the settings in the camera before were only automatic and you could only adjust the exposure compensation. Now in this one, they went to a full manual mode, allows you to adjust the ISO shutter, white balance resolution, frame rate, all the things we like to adjust. Now in this video, we're gonna run it mostly in auto just so we have a good basis for comparison to what we've done before. Lastly, the SE did have a circle, follow, and waypoints, but now the Atom really added a lot more of those quick shots, including pull away, rocket, circle, spiral, boomerang, visual tracking, and waypoints. Now, this one has visual tracking, so it will keep you in the center of the frame by adjusting the gimbal and things like that. So that is a huge improvement, so I can't wait to try that out as well. That is a lot of improvements in the specs on paper, but of course that doesn't mean much if the gimbal isn't stable, the video is shaky or grainy, so let's take this up and check it out. Now we're not supposed to have to calibrate this every time. If you're in the same area, it should tell you when you need to calibrate it. Now I did move from one area to another, so this is the first time in this area, so I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate it quick and I'll spin through it quick so you don't have to wait through it. So we had a police car pull up here and kind of go by slow and watch. And they're parked right around the corner here. I have a feeling they're waiting for us to take off with the drone, so that'll be interesting if they come over and uh, see what's going on. We do have all our paperwork in order, so uh, it's sitting in the back of the car, so that'll be interesting. Let's go ahead and do the uh, quick compass calibration. There we go. And we're gonna spin that counterclockwise like it shows. And there we go. So now that we're calibrated, let's go ahead, do a quick hover, see if those satellites lock in with the GPS, make sure we don't get any nasty toilet bowling or anything goofy like that. Just see how stable it is. All right, so, so far, this is quite stable here. No problem at all. And I know we do have some electrical around here, but boy, that is standing right square in the spot. There is not one bit of issue at all here. And there is about a four or five mile an hour wind kind of coming uh, from this direction. So it's hitting it a little bit sideways here. So. Right now, this thing is really stable. Uh, I don't think we could really ask for much more as far as how stable this drone is uh, because boy, it, it is right there. All right, so let's go ahead and take this up for a flight, do a little bit of video here, uh, see what this looks like, and then we'll hit those quick shots. Really nice. Now, something we always wanna check as well is to make sure that that horizon tilt is stable. It looks pretty good so far. I don't see anything we're going back and forth. And usually that's pretty tough uh, to do the movements like I'm doing and still have it stable. So now it looked like Potensic actually took our comments into account when we reviewed the SE because one of the things that we said we really wanted was a slowed gimbal roll so that we could do a cinematic movement. The gimbal roll works really nice. Very cinematic. Of course, you let me know what this video looks like. Now this will be coming directly off of the SD card uh, that I'll pull in. Now, one thing that's interesting is I do have a different microphone on today. 
I do not have the DJI mic on and we know that that DJI mic does give us some interference, especially with this drone. We noticed on the SE, it made our distance get much, much less and we started to get FPV breakup. But the distance here is no problem. Uh, you can see that we went out here. We didn't have one little bit of breakup at all or anything. So, you know, you let me know uh, what this video looks like. But hey, if you've enjoyed the content so far or learned something you didn't know before, take a second, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really does help us small creators out. So let's go ahead here and do uh, an orbit uh, just to see what that looks like. I'm going to walk over here a little bit so you can see me a little better. So let's go ahead and get me in the shot. All right, so there we go. So let's go ahead and hit start. See what happens here. Have a few poles and things I have to be careful of. So let's see what happens there. Let's see if it keeps us in the center. Okay, and there it goes. It's definitely keeping us in the center real nice here. Excellent job. It's kind of speeding around here real nice. Of course, again, you know, you know in the comments what uh, you see on the screen as well, if this seems good to you. It looks really good in my FPV here as far as the orbit here. It did one quick shot here and stopped. So now we're ready for our next move, which is nice. Let's go ahead and try another one. See what happens here. All right, so let's see what happens. There we go. Okay, so that looked really nice as well. Uh, so let's go ahead. I want to make sure I do this active track if I have a chance here. So let's try that. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. We're going to choose our target here. Now, again, this is our track, and that's nice. It tells us that we can set it for a minute or two or what have you. So let's just go ahead, set this up for a minute, and uh, see what it does. See how good it follows us here. We'll take a little walk. There we go. And from what I can tell, this is doing an excellent job here. Really nice, really nice. Uh, it's keeping me in the center. It's moving that gimbal. It's kind of rotating around to the back of me here and uh, keeping me nice. I mean, this is, uh, again, uh, for those of you who were giving me a hard time in my DJI Mini 2 SE video, saying that it should have been able to have some kind of a follower track. And you kept saying, well, that's because there's no obstacle avoidance. Well, they need to take a cue from Potensic because here is an active track, a visual active track with no obstacle avoidance and it's working just fine. All right, so we have the opportunity to do our first return to home here. Let's go ahead and uh, see what that return to home looks like. Okay, so you can see where that drone came down. It was about oh, four feet or so off the pad, which isn't too bad for the first one. I will take it any day of the week. So that was probably a really good test of the battery time here for this first one, since we're at low battery turn. Now, I'll put that time up here uh, that we did get on the battery so you can know what uh, this looks like. So with that, let's head back to the studio and I'll go through what comes in the kits, my likes, dislikes, and we'll finish this video out. So welcome back to the studio. Boy, that was a really great flight, wasn't it? Things worked really well. So let's talk about what came in the kit that we used today in our flights. So this was the Fly More package, and this comes with the drone remote cables, four full sets of extra props with extra screws, three batteries, a battery charging hub, a custom case, the charging cord, and a 64 gig SD card. Now I've heard that this SD card is only available for a limited time. So if that's something that you want to get uh, included with this kit, you're probably going to need to act pretty quick. Now I'm going to tell you about where we can get this in just a minute. So hang on. So the prices now for the basic kit with only one battery, the drone, the remote, no case and things like that is $299. 
And the Fly More package with everything we just talked about is $399. Now, that seems like a really fair price for everything that's included. Now, right now, this drone is only available on Potensic's website because it is a new release, and they're gonna have it available on Amazon really soon, I think in the next couple of weeks. But of course, I'll leave links for Potensic website where you can go check this out. And when Amazon is available, I'll make sure that I follow up and I put that in the description as well so you can check it out. So let's talk about my legs. First, it was very stable. The Precision GPS was really good. That was evident from the hover when it just sat there in place and didn't move. And when we went up and down, it returned and sat right there. Very stable. They did a very good job. Nice improvement with the GPS. Second, the video quality, I think, was really good. Now, that's not only the video itself and meaning that it's 4K and of good quality, but the gimbal itself looked great as well. It was smooth. We had a great gimbal roll. It was stable. There was no horizon tilt that I could tell at all or any jello, any weird things like that. And you gotta remember, this is their first revision, and honestly, I think they knocked it out of the park with this gimbal. Next, the quick shots were abundant, and they all worked. They also have adjustable parameters, meaning that you can have them go for one rotation or two, or follow you for a minute or two or three. And that leads me into the visual active tracking, which not only was included, but it worked. We walked around, it kept us in the middle of the scene, the gimbal kept us centered as well. It was very stable while it did it. Never lost us partway through, so it just plain worked. There's a couple of things I didn't mention in the video that I'll bring up here. And one is there's no geofencing. You know, if you've used a drone with that function that it's wrong often, it just makes for a frustrating experience. So happily, that is not included in this drone. Next, the height restriction can be adjusted above 400 feet. Now, many times as a 107 pilot, this is allowed and it's just plain necessary. And this tells me that Potensic wanted to position this as a little more of a professional model and just not a toy. So I think they're on the right track. So here are some of the things that I think they got wrong or maybe consider for the next revision. First, I think they used the wrong glue on the sticker that kind of secures the gimbal in place. There's a sticky residue that was on it when you peeled it off. I needed to clean it for a while with goo gone before I could even use it because it had this big sticky goo. So that needs to just plain change. Second, I hope they consider a larger camera with more low light capabilities for the next version. Now, this could even be a pro version for instance, but that would be a fantastic option. So all this being said, honestly, I have to give Potenza credit here. I think they knocked it out of the park with this version with the quality, the features, and the price. So my hat's off to them. So I'm gonna address the elephant in the room head on by saying first, this is truly a win for drone consumers, period. Second, in this drone class in a head-to-head -head competition with DJI, the Potensic Atom not only holds its own, but in multiple areas, it beats them hands down. I don't think I've ever said that before and it feels kind of weird actually, but good too. So honestly, I think Potensic should be proud of what they've done here and what they've produced for the price. I'm considering doing a head-to-head -head comparison of DJI and Potensic here of a similar model. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. So with that, leave me your comments and thanks for watching. And until next time and next video, good flying.